Hello and how's everyone doing today? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, if you're a returning viewer, I'm glad to have you back. It's kind of early in the morning, so I can't talk too loud, but with that being said, grab your drinks, grab your snacks, and let's play some. In the last episode, uh, which I accidentally named episode 3, um, when it's actually episode 2, this is uh, episode 3, um... In the last episode, we got all of the uh, crests, all four of the crests, to get into the uh, guardhouse, and uh, that is what we are going to be doing today. So, uh, let's get into it. Okay. Alright, so let's drop off our, uh, what do you call it, ink ribbons in the box here. Um, I don't think we're going to need our shotgun here. Uh, I think actually what I'm going to do is, I might try and kill Plant 42 with the knife. Because um, when I did my knife run on, uh, what do you call it, um, I can't even think. On the director's cut, it actually wasn't all that difficult. Um, but let's bring a uh, one of these ones with the poison stuff, and uh, let's go. Because there are poison spiders in this uh, in this area, so we do have to be careful. Which I believe they are in this room here. I don't know if there's anything in here aside from handgun ammo. I don't think. Oh, it's going to be a bit choppy in here, I see. I see how it's going to be. Is there nothing back here? And this here uh, is, no, of, uh, is of no use to us. I can't even talk. Alright, so let's see what's on this side. I think handgun ammo, I think. Yeah, handgun. Okay, so it's handgun ammo, and it's also a um, uh, ink ribbon. Ink ribbon. I can't think right now. I do apologize for the choppiness and lagginess of this area. I don't know why uh, it's like that. Okay. Okay, let's try and get out of here now. Oh, shit. Okay, so we're not poisoned yet, and that's good. Get yeah, through the door. There you go. Ooh, I'm in danger. That's not good. And we're out of caution. Um, that should be fine. Oh my god, go around. There you go. I'm not too sure which Resident Evil game I'm going to do after this. Because um, I do actually have to redo some Resident Evil games. Um, Resident Evil 2 Remake I, I have to do, which doesn't have my commentary in it. Uh, Original 2, which doesn't have my, my commentary in it. Um, I've got to figure out how to do the B scenario um, on that one. I also have to redo, I think it's Resident Evil 5 as well. Uh, which doesn't have a commentary. Six doesn't have a commentary, but I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. I'm, I'm not doing that game again. Um, that, that one took way too long, and I just honestly can't be bothered with Resident Evil 6. Um, I also have to do Resident Evil 8 as well. I have a stream version of it I uh, put up on the channel, and it's in the playlist here. Um, but I don't actually have a thorough... Um, playthrough, which surprises me, because I thought I did, but I don't. Um, I also want to do a little bit of Gaiden, too, eventually. That game's not canon, it's not part of the story, but um, 
It'd be fun to do. I've never beaten that game, to be totally honest. Um, it'd be interesting, though, that's for sure. Alright, so let's see. The key that we got is... Zero zero two. This coffee that I got beside me is it's really good. It's salted, uh, salted, or sorry, caramel sea salted. Um, it's pretty good. So number two, okay. Um, which I think I don't think it's down here. I think this is zero three. Oh, this is zero two. I'm never mind. I'm wrong. Um, I believe this is this takes us to um, the basement where um, Neptune and all that are in the where the uh, shark tank uh, shark tank broke and stuff. I think this is it. Yep, it is. Okay, so there's no zombies here. If I remember correctly, in the uh, remake of two. There's a pretty gruesome scene in this room. Um, as unless it's zero zero three that it's in. Um, in the remake, there is a table here, which the defense gun is on, and right about here, uh, there is a scientist guy who hanged himself, and he's just kind of swinging back and forth. Um, Plant 42 report. We'll read that in a minute. Um, you can get him to to snap the rope, drop down, and come after you. But there's also um, instances I've had where that has never happened. So it's pretty interesting. It's either 50/50 if he's going to drop down or not, um, unless there is um, things that you have to do in order for that to happen. Um, but let's see the Plant 42 report. Let's get into this. Uh, four days have passed since the incident, and the plant at point 42 is growing amazingly fast. It has been affected by the T-virus differently than the other plants have been and shows unique shape in addition to its size. Looking at the way it behaves, it is now difficult to determine what kind of plant it originally was. Uh, there are two ways in which plant 42 gathers nutrition. One. Oh, the first one is through its root that reaches into the basement. Immediately after the incident, a scientist went mad and broke the water tank in the basement. Now it is filled with water. Um, it is easily imaginable um, that some chemical elements were blended into the water and promotes the incredible uh, fast growth of plant 42. Another plant, another part of plant 42 from the basement grows through the duct and hangs down to like many bulbs from the ceiling of the first floor. I read that totally, totally messed up. Um, many vines come out of those bulbs and they are the second source for its nutrition. Uh, once sensing movement, plant 42 shoots its vines around the prey and holds it. Then it starts sucking up blood using the suckers, <laughs> the suckers, oh my god, located on the back of its vine. Uh, it also has some intelligence. It blocks the door by twining its vines around it, especially when it captures its play or when it's sleeping. Several staff members have already fallen victims to this. Okay. Um, if you played uh, Chris's playthrough, um, you would need to... I'm pretty sure you need to use the, um, uh, the V-Act, I don't know what's it called. No, because V-Act is what the zombies turn into, uh, Crimson Heads. I can't remember what it's called. Basically, it's some sort of chemical you need to make, uh, to kill the roots. I believe you can do it with Jill, but it's not necessary. Alright, so there's a Zomboni in here. And we're just gonna ignore him. He's probably gonna get back up, but you know, why why waste uh the ammo to actually kill him? Oh maybe he is dead. 
Yeah, I guess he is. Interesting. Alrighty, so, um, yeah, I guess this, yeah, so I guess what we'll do is, uh, we'll push these down, and, um, oh, stupid thing, yeah, okay, let's go down the ladder here. Okay, so we gotta push these boxes uh, into the water. Uh, the one thing that I never understood is that uh, when you drain the water, these boxes still stay floating. Um, that's one thing that was changed uh, in the uh, remake. Because uh, in the remake, there is two doors in this area to uh, get in, in and out of. Uh, the remake is actually a door that's like right here or something. Oh, shit, pushing it the wrong way. I'll be okay. Alrighty. Takes a little bit to uh, push these boxes. And then these uh, boxes were also reused in uh, Resident Evil 2. Um, in the part where you need to use Sherry or uh, Rebecca, or sorry, Sherry or uh, Ada, I'm getting mixed up. Um, in the. Um, actually, I'm not too sure what you could call that area. Underneath the police station, anyway. I'm, I think it's near the marshalling yard. Marshalling yard. I can't exactly remember. It's been a little bit since I played the original too. Okay, so I'm gonna do something that I usually don't want to do. Um, that's combining two greens, just so we can have a bit room here. But I don't think it's gonna be the end of the world. This part is not too hard. Oh boy, it's gonna be a bit choppy in here, I think. <coughs> is there no? Is there no? Oh, there's no cutscene in here. Oh shit. Yeah, she'd be dead right there. I thought there was a cutscene to show uh, Neptune and all of them coming out. <coughs> I guess not. I know in the uh, remake uh, that there is. I do apologize for this being really choppy. It's locked. Door says control, <coughs> control room. Are you serious right now? Ah oh, man, so I came down here for no reason. God damn it. And that door, I believe, yeah, that's the room with the, oh, the roots and stuff. So we don't need to go in there. At least I can outrun the sharks, <coughs> which is nice. Okay. Okay, where do I get the control room key? I have to remember. Um, unless the door beside the save room door is not locked. I believe it's locked in the remake. Um, I guess we'll go check. I forgot you need the control room key.
I guess while we're here, we can drop off at least one of the uh, uh, herb mixtures. Okay. Um, so Z01. Yeah. I thought Z01 was locked. Oh, right, because there's a Zamboni right there. One, two, three. Lay down. Or not. Four. Oh, shit. Four. I'm in Oh, no, I'm not in danger. Okay. And he's dead. So we're going to wait for this guy to slowly make his way around the corner. There we go. And the thing is, there's no lock on, so you don't know. So I'm probably potentially wasting ammo here. There we go. Okay, so perfect. We're gonna get the uh, red book. Okay. Um, I don't think there's anything over here. Let's just check the window. See if it says anything. It's dark outside, and I can't see anything. Okay. Um, there's nothing in the, um, what do you call it, in the closet thing there. Um, the power key is in the bathroom. I forgot about that. Okay, and now, yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do, like I said, I think I'm going to uh, drop off um, one of those. Okay, so what do we got? We can drop off the shotgun ammo and these, one of those, and we need those two. Uh, hopefully, I have a green herb in the box. I can't remember if I used them all or not. Okay, let's see. Hopefully. And I got a bunch of greens. Awesome. Okay. Um, so, I'll do one of you. Um... Oh, right, so we gotta do this, because I forgot that you... So you can't stack items in this game um, when you put them in the box. You gotta do it manually. Obviously, picking up ammo and other things that, of course, would stack it, but, um, you know, um, that does not... Okay, so let's just do this. Uh, shotgun ammo. Yeah, so we're gonna... Go like, go like that. Actually, you might as well do this. <coughs> okay. Because we're not really going to need a shotgun until, um, um, what do you call it? Until you get back to the house. Okay. So, everything we got is good to go. And now we get to go back to, uh, the basement. Yay! <laughs> Alrighty. This episode is going to be a little bit shorter, I guess, uh, because of, um, because the guardhouse isn't all that long, uh, to be totally honest. But again, like I said, um, some episodes aren't, uh, very long. I think, did I go the wrong way? No, I didn't. So I don't need the map, that's for sure. Oh, 
Okay, here we go again. I know it's strange to have this on a Saturday, um, but again, um, to be honest, I was working on Code Veronica. I don't know if I, yeah, I don't think I explained this in episode two. I can't remember. <coughs> um, I think I did, but I'll get to repeat myself. It might take a little bit for the next episode for Veronica to come out. Um, get the part that I'm on. Um, it is a bit difficult, to be totally honest. Um, if you guys remember from the last episode of Veronica, I mean, it's been quite a while, um, since we did Veronica. Um, yeah. Uh, basically, we are on the part where we need to, uh, escape the island, and we have to fight the tyrant. Um, which is not easy, it's quite frustrating, actually. Um, so there is going to be a bit of, uh, editing in that episode. I do kind of think I may do director's cut, I don't know, just because like the music and the costumes and stuff are different. Uh, there also is a mode called um, arrange mode and it moves all the items all over the place and it's like mix matched. Um, I don't know if I would do arrange mode on the channel, I mean it might, I mean it changes things up a bit, but uh, I'm not sure. If I do do director's cut, I don't think it'd be right after this because <coughs> I don't want to do two of the same thing of course um, cause that, would be, that would be a bit boring so uh, I'm not exactly sure which Resident Evil game I'm going to be doing after this one's done uh, like I said I have a bunch of them that I have to redo um, there's some that I haven't even done yet like uh, actually, I don't even think I've done Outbreak 2 I have to be totally honest that's one of the games <coughs> one of the very few games um, that I could not say I've never finished. I finished one a while ago, um, but yeah, that one and Daddy, or no, sorry, that one and Gaiden, I think, are the only two I've never finished. Um, oh, jeez, a stupid floppy fish. Alrighty, and I think, um, I think that key is going to get us into where Plant 42 is, so I think what I'm going to do, we're going to make a save, and we're going to try it with a knife. If that doesn't work, then we'll just do regular gun, but I do want to do it with a knife, because when I did it with a knife on Director's Cut, it definitely was not as hard as I remember it, or at least not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I remember the fight in the remake. I don't want to say it was impossible or even like super hard, um, but it did, it did have a little tiny, tiny bit of difficulty to it because you did have to watch out for um, the vines and stuff, as the note said. Um, you know, it had like acid and stuff that sprayed on you and stuff, and it, it wasn't easy. Especially on harder difficulties, it definitely wasn't easy. Um, but I mean, if you had like the magnum, if you had a good layout, like <clears throat> uh, loadout, if you had like the Magnum or like the ASL shotgun, um, it was super easy. But if you go in with just like a handgun and stuff, you're not going to have a fun time. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to swap that out. Um, take this. And I, th oh no wait, we wanted ink ribbon as well. Okay, that looks good. Oh yeah, we got the gren uh, bazooka, the grenade launcher. How much acid rounds have we got? We got 12 acid rounds. I thought we had more than that. 
Oh, right, we had two sixes and we made them into twelve. That's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember where to get the Magnum. Um, that was that was something I was supposed to do. I forgot I was supposed to look. That was something I was supposed to look up uh, before doing this episode. Um, that's okay. Uh, I'll look it up after this episode, and we will do it. Because um, it makes the, the Tyrant fight super easy. Um, it's just it's laughable how, how easy it is with the Magnum. Okay. If we were doing director's cut, I'd probably knife him too, because I used it. He wasn't that hard, he, honestly, uh, to, to knife him on uh, Director's Cut. I thought the original Tyrant would be, you know, like really hard with just how sporadic and stuff uh, the AI is in the original games. I figured it'd be, you know, pretty, pretty challenging, but no, um, it was just like, it was almost uh, just like the, uh, the, the remake. In the remake, he's pretty easy to do too. The second fight, though, um, wasn't too fun. The, the second fight was, it's, it's stressful because you have to run away from him um, <clears throat> while the time is running out. Well, at least for the knife run you do. Um, but I don't think I've ever shot him on the, what do you call it, uh, on the roof in any games. I think I just run away from him. No, that's a lie. In the remake I do uh, shoot him because they have like excess ammo and I don't know if you do enough damage to him. It actually makes uh, Brad appear faster, which is kind of odd. Um, but in the original one here, I always just run away from him, which is much easier to just run away from him. Okay, so we have it saved, we have all that. I believe we get a few more items in here. I think there's a zombie in the bathroom, so we're going to ignore him. I can't remember if there's any, no, there's no zombies in here. Okay. I think there is, I'm going to take a wild guess. I don't know. I can't remember. Let me guess. I'm going to say uh, ink ribbon. Let's check. You have used a lot pick. You get ink ribbon. Awesome. We need that. So that's perfect. Okay. Good. All right. So um, if there's a zombie in here, I'm just going to come back out. It's not worth whatever is in here to take damage. And there is Ender's Fire Rounds. But we don't need uh, Fire Rounds for anything except the plant from what I can remember. Push. Oh, right. Duh. I'm dumb. I'm like, I'm thinking, why is it not pushing? I forgot that we need to do this. Um, what's this? Visual Report. I'm not going to read this. I'm just going to tell you. Basically, it just tells you how to mix the uh um basically the poison that uh damages the plant roof it's not really super important to be honest all right so let's uh do this hopefully we can do it Oh god. Oh, my danger already. Oh god. Yeah, maybe maybe, maybe this wasn't such a good uh, good idea. Oh god. Yeah, I'm gonna die. Oh fuck. Oh. Wait, she's still alive? What the hell? Run, Jill, run. Yeah, you're dead now. No, you're not. What? Can she not die? Can the plant not kill you? I am so confused right now. But I should be dead right now. Okay, so you can die in here, okay. I thought it was a glitch there or something. Yeah, okay. So, uh... Yeah, 
I guess what we'll do is, um... We'll just use regular grenade rounds on it. I mean, might as well get used to the grenade launcher. Lock on from director it's got <clears throat> definitely makes a uh, difference. It definitely makes it easier, that's for sure. Um, okay, so let's swap you out for Mr. Grenade Launcher. I wonder. Because I know in... At least in Code Veronica... I don't remember if they stack. No, they don't. Okay. I can't remember if they do in... Uh, Resident Evil 2 either. Because I don't go Veronica, you if you can basically load in, um, it's actually my other brain is with me. Um, you can basically load in however many grenades that you have. And I think, I think you can do that and, um, remake one as well. But don't, don't quote me on that. And the good thing we have a bit of acid rounds because they should kill the hunters in one hit, which will make this playthrough much easier. I mean, running away with running away from them isn't all that hard either, to be honest. That's what I did in the life run when I did that. I pretty much just ran away from all the hunters and stuff and avoided most of the zombies. I, knew, I think there's only <coughs> um. What, maybe one, two, three zombies that I killed in that whole playthrough? Like, not including bosses and stuff, of course, but like, yeah, I think there's only the three, only three zombies I killed. Two in the balcony of the, um, in the dining room. Uh, and then one zombie in the basement. Uh, so I could get some healing items that were against the wall. I think that's it. I didn't even bother killing uh, Black Tiger either. And for those of you who don't know that, is that's the uh, giant spider. Which actually that, because there's no lock on, it's actually going to be much easier um, in this playthrough. Because you can just use the knife and cut down the um, the web on the opposite door. And, oh, and just go straight through. And with there being no lock on, when you push the aim button, she's just gonna aim in whatever direction you're aiming at. So, she won't automatically aim at the spider. Which will make things a gajillion times easier, in that respect. Alright, let's get revenge. Is it even doing anything? Oh, fuck. There we go. And then Barry should come in, I believe, now. actually get the flamethrower as Chris in the original. I know in the remake you can. I, I think you can get him or get the flamethrower as uh, Chris. You saved me! Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was close. Thanks, Barry. Don't mention it. What a monster. I can't believe... What the hell is this place anyway? 
And then that's all he says. I think I could be wrong. I think I got to talking about all like the games that I have to redo and stuff like that. Adding to list, I think I have to redo remake one. I don't think I have commentary in on that one either. I can't remember. Uh, let's see if he has anything else to say. No, maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna stay in the soldiers' area and take a look around. Though I'm sure there are still things in that other mansion as well. Anyway. Let's start searching separately. Okay. In the soldier's area. I didn't see no soldier area. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, it looks like the episode is almost done. Uh, as we are done this area. So once we get to the save room, um, it looks like episode 3 is going to be, going to be finished up. Ooh, it's Wesker. Jill, so you're safe. That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You disappeared from the hall all of a sudden. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Okay, that wasn't mysterious at all. Gets him coming out of nowhere. Okay, now if we push this thing out of the way, it wouldn't matter, because obviously Plant 42 is dead. Okay, so, um, I guess what we'll do is we'll get prepared for the next episode, uh, so we can just move right forward. Um, so what we're going to do is um okay so we'll drop this right there um so we'll drop the handgun demo as well uh because i don't think we'll be yeah we won't be encountering any more zombies uh in the mansion oh no wait that's a lie um how much shotgun demo do we have 28 um Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Um, I'm going to drop this off anyway. So this is just going to be a little bit of a mess right now. Um, okay, so we'll take this and then we're going to take this. And we're going to do that. And then we're going to do this. I'm hoping that... No, actually, it's not a big deal. Whatever, I don't care. Okay. Whoops. Powerful. Blah blah blah. Oh, it doesn't even tell you what it is. Um. Let's see. Okay. Um. So it looks like we're good now. Uh, we'll keep this equipped. Uh, we'll use the shotgun for the basement of the mansion. Um, uh, we also got um, Yon to fight as well, which we can do with the shotgun. Um, yeah, okay. And it looks like we're good to go. Okay, so let's save this up. Oops. 
Alrighty, so that was episode 3 of Resident Evil 1. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun kind of stuff. And I will see you in episode 4.